Uh, what up, y'all? It's your man, Album American. There's gonna be some buzzing in the background. Maybe the wind's gonna kick up. So excuse me about the sound quality here. Now I just want to talk about something real quick. I kind of got sidetracked with this whole uh, topic of Islam, and I said I wasn't gonna go into it. But anyway, let's get back up on topic. Now I wanted to say um, that is the concept I'm about to put forward isn't mine, but I do agree with it 100% out of personal experience and the experiences of other men, and that is that women cannot and fundamentally do not appreciate men nor the sacrifices they make for them uh, nor the hardships that men go through for the sake of their women and that's because females own and control the narrative when it comes to relationships in society now what does that mean give me a time or an example or a situation where something that you do as a man for your woman isn't supposed to be like that already if everything that you do is the status quo how can anything be appreciated I work and I pay the bills and I take care of my kids you're a man it's supposed to be like that uh, you know I protect my lady from harm and I make sure she has everything she needs to keep her happy uh, it's supposed to be like that I fought off a tiger with my bare hands and chewed off my arm and I died but my woman and children lived or my, just my woman lived. It's supposed to be like that. You give me one example where you can do something as a man for a woman where they won't say it's supposed to be like that. And if everything is the status quo, where is room for appreciation? And we as men understand because men are meritocratic. You know, we come from, we, we, we believe in meritocracies. You should as a man. And so we look forward to praise and, you know, being lauded for our accomplishments. Appreciation is important to us. So this is all about dominance and control, gentlemen. You have to understand that um, women, if you don't appreciate your man, you better learn it because you're going to lose him. You know, why do you think so many men, when I go, you know, I'm, I'm in the UK right now, but when I'm in Germany, you see how many men are marrying Asian women, you know, Filipinos, Chinese, Thais, this one, that one. Do you know why? Do you know why so many Muslim men, oh, Muslim women, are going to Africa and the Arab world, third world Arab world, we're talking about North Africa and other places, because those women, they haven't learned this concept of not being appreciative of what your man does for you. It's, it's an intrinsic part of the female nature and psychology, of course. And this is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu spoke about this. But really, they do show a degree of appreciation and loyalty that women in the West don't. Women in the West have become spoiled through feminist ideologies. And even women, even women who don't identify as feminists, they, uh, they suffer from this problem of a lack of appreciation for what their men does for them. Now, you might say, uh, as a woman, I sacrifice my body and my youth to have kids and whatever else. But uh, you want to do that anyway. I mean, let's face the facts. There's nothing that makes you special, as harsh as that sounds, other than your ability to have children. And if you don't have children as a woman, then what are you? What makes you special? You're a sucky woman. I mean, you're a sucky man who can't do pull-ups. You, I mean, you're a horrible... What are you? Unless you cannot physically have kids because you have some sort of you know, biological ailment. This is something you want to do anyway. This is part of your biological biological imperative. That's your that's your um, contribution to the relationship, and men appreciate that. Don't think they don't. It's when you have the kid and then you balloon into a land whale or a walrus. That's when the problems arise. Anyway, gentlemen, uh, understand your worth and know your value, and it's quite high. You are the prize, gentlemen. Don't get it confused. Don't get it twisted. You know, at the end of the day, uh, if things are working out for you, you know, and you're paying the bills, you know, you're protecting, uh, you know, you're protecting your household, be it through like financial security or actual physical physical security. If you end up in a situation that calls for that, um, you know, that's your duty. That's what you're doing. And um, you should understand that that's something that you carry alone. So know your worth and value, gentlemen. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All at Abu American. I'm out.